How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and welcome to another episode of some Black Ops 2. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the PS4 and the Xbox One. On the PS4 side, I'm going to be talking about why Sony thinks uh, it is a good idea to do their or pay for PlayStation Plus. It's like 50 bucks a year, similar to an Xbox Live contract that you get. And uh, then I'm going to be talking about Xbox and Microsoft uh, using adapters for current headsets that you might use like Turtle Beaches, Astros, etc. So let's get started. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Sony talking about why uh, they require PlayStation Plus and the $50 a year for PlayStation 4 online play. And uh, Yoshida, which is I guess the last name of their CEO, he says this, The main pillar for the PS4 will be online play. We're developing many new ways to play and connect, which requires a large investment of resources. Considering the cost to try to keep up such a free service and consequently lower the quality would be absurd. So essentially, breaking that down into you know context that makes more sense, they're adding a lot of more a lot of features basically, and that's going to cost some money. So they would be losing way too much money to provide all the awesome features that the PS4 is going to have uh, with its new online play, and so they're going to charge you five bucks a month. Really, it's not that big of a deal. I've been paying for Xbox Live for the longest amount of time, and uh, don't buy them at like Best Buy. Don't do that. Don't go to like GameStop and say I want a year. If you look on the dashboard or the PlayStation you know network, there will be sales all the time for like 50% off 30% off like I got six months for like 15 bucks which is really cheap because typically that should be 30 bucks so it's like 50% off so that's what I do whenever I see deals like that I typically go for it just because you know I don't want to pay 60 bucks and anytime I can save 20 to 30 bucks I think that is awesome so essentially, the reason you're paying five bucks a month on the PlayStation Network for the PlayStation 4 is that you're getting a lot of cool features, which should be pretty awesome. So anyways, let's talk about the Xbox One. So the genesis of what I'm about to say is that Xbox One will support Xbox 360 headsets with an adapter. And I actually think that is really awesome because a few things. One, I, I just recently purchased an Astro, the 2013 Astro A40s, and uh, they're kind of expensive. They're, the quality is amazing, and I would love for them to carry over. That's just another 250 bucks that I don't want to have to spend. But anyways, Microsoft is once again answering concerns of gamers who recently learned that the Xbox One won't ship with a headset. For to me, isn't a big deal, but I think to the community that is kind of a big deal because the PlayStation 3 didn't ship with a headset and I think it greatly affected the online multiplayer games where if you were to jump into a Modern Warfare 2 lobby on the PlayStation 3, it's just blank, no microphones. Whereas everyone on the Xbox 360 side, it was, and that can be good and bad because some chatty 11 year olds often don't don't create for the best conversations, but you know what I mean. And uh, according to this Twitter post, which I'll put on the screen right now, this is Xbox One support. They're saying we're working to develop an adapter for current wired headsets to connect. More details as we approach launch. And uh, apparently those who own like USB headsets like Turtle Beaches and uh, Xbox or excuse me like Astros and Tritons won't need an adapter uh, to work with the Xbox One because it's USB powered. So I'm looking at my Astro mix amp right now and it's connected to USB through the back of my Xbox and optical cable power which both the PS4 and the Xbox One have. So that's a no, that's a no brainer for me that's really easy to, to set up. But what I am concerned with is Microsoft's uh, Xbox One controller which looks like it has its own adapter for chat cable. Now there's a few things that go into this. I'm fine with having an adapter but on the condition that it's a very seamless transition. Now. I've used adapters before for using male, uh, male to female, like coaxial, male to female component cables, uh, and th that's nice. You know, it doesn't bother me. I don't see it. It doesn't get in my way. It doesn't affect the quality, and that's something I'm looking for right there. Another example I can give you is uh, when Apple created the iPhone 5, they changed the uh, you know the USB port that they used to charge uh, your phone and put music and put software on your phone, etc. And they came out with an adapter, and it wasn't expensive. It was and it worked fine, and you didn't notice it. You know, whenever you were charging your phone, you're, you didn't say like, "Wow, this is charging much slower than I wanted to," or "Wow, this is a huge pain to have to use this adapter." No, when I'm looking for an adapter, I'm looking for something that I don't notice, doesn't get in my way, and works. Just just as fine as if I didn't have it. And with that being said, I'm hoping that's what Microsoft is working on. Now, the fact that it doesn't ship with a headset, like I said, doesn't bother me. I, I wouldn't be using that headset out of the box anyways, but I do think it is a mistake because uh, like I said, that's one of the things that was kind of the crux of the PlayStation 3 for uh, not having as great of online multiplayer, in my opinion, because there wasn't a communication because some people get that headset out of, out of the box and that's what they use and I don't blame people who do that I just wanted a better audio experience so I went and upgraded with my Astro A40s I've had Turtle Beaches so 
Hopefully all USB uh, you know, component headsets will work just fine. That's the way it should be. It's 2013, almost going to be 2014 when this stuff comes out. So that shouldn't even be a no-brainer. But anyways, guys, like I said, I want you guys to leave a few comments. Let me know what you think about uh, the PlayStation 4 charging five bucks a month, which is really minuscule um, to, you know, to use all the online services, which I'm sure will be amazing. Uh, as we all know, PlayStation 4, they they debuted a, a whole lot of cool online services. And what do you think of Xbox One being able to support Xbox 360 headsets? We don't know about the PS3 if they're going to switch it up or the PS4, excuse me, I should say and uh, not allow your current PlayStation 3 headsets to work, but most headsets are, um, you know, work with both consoles, so I'm assuming that uh, it won't be that big of a deal, and it won't be something that we have to worry about, which is, I'm just, I want to get the worry out of the way with all these consoles, I just want to know all the details, but unfortunately, that's the way of business that doesn't function, uh, you know, that doesn't work like that, so we'll find out a lot of more details soon, and it uh, should be interesting, but anyways, guys, my name is Mr. Boss for the win, thanks for watching this video, if you did like it, I would encourage you guys to leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you are new, I'll talk to you later, and one quick note, a lot of buried gameplay coming up in the next few days, I'm going to be playing a lot of zombies, so expect that, have a nice day, and of course, talk to you guys in the next video.